Hi, my name is uh, Graeme Cooper and I'm a Sylvan Sport Go holder. And here it is, a 21 model, I would say. Yeah, that's fair. We ordered it in uh, June. Uh, unfortunately, because of COVID, we didn't get it delivered until March, but we've enjoyed it since then. We've been out about five times. I think this is our fifth trip. So it's, a, it's very versatile. Uh, it's got storage space in the front. This is the frunk, in fact, uh, in, the, uh, in the language of the go owners, if you will. So it's got a lot of space inside it. It's remarkable how much you can put in there. Uh, you can also see the EcoFlow 500 watt hour battery that came with the package and, and the tools for getting the uh, tent uh, up and down. The, the, one of the things that you need uh, with this camp, with this kind of camper, well, pretty much anyone, uh, is this, is this uh, leveler. Um, BAL, I think, is a well known one. I don't think this is actually that, but it's, uh, it's very similar. And uh, luckily, because it was chucking it down with rain when we came here, we didn't need to use it. We were dead level right from the go, so that's good. Uh, the other thing I'll mention is that uh, Sylvan, Sylvan Sport has a very good Facebook uh, group, which is very helpful, a lot of information, and with ideas like this, this is a, actually a pizza bag, but the leveler fits in and it's not, you know, all the components are not running all over the place, so it's real help. The tent itself, uh, what you're looking at here is the bottom of the tent pod, which swings down to release the canvas. The side wings fold over on, uh, onto the top of the trailer when you're traveling, but are very firm. They don't, they don't go anywhere at all, really. And you uh, stretch out the canvas onto them to form the two sleeping areas if that's the configuration that you want to use. You've got stabilizers, not jacks, stabilizers to make sure everything is uh, nice and firm uh, when you're walking about in the trailer and, th and they work quite well. Some people convert those over to screw type. I personally haven't had any problem with those so that's good. Uh, I guess around the side you've got plenty of windows uh, the windows have got three layers, an outer mesh layer, a center plastic layer, which is the seal, and then an inner layer, which is the same fabric. So you can, you can uh, mix and match to get the sort of airflow that you want. Around the side is the uh, uh, awning, which uh, again comes as part of the package, gives you about 64, 70, 70 square feet of space uh, that you can use outside. There's another, there's another piece that we don't have with us on this trip, which is called a gazebo, which is a nine foot square uh, space that you can sit and have your dinner in and whatever, which is, is like four of the side pieces. It has four windows like that, same way that you can open and close. The other thing you can see is the top of the tent pod, which has, the, has a uh, frame that you can mount a, a Yakima, I guess, um, a bike support or um, kayak support to be able to uh, carry those kind of things, toys. And also up there, you can see the edge of the solar panel, 120 watt uh, solar panel that recharges the EcoFlow. Hi, I'm Diana Cooper. I'm gonna show you the inside of our uh, 2022 Go Easy Camper by Sylvan Sport. Um, we've had this camper since February and we're really loving it. Um, it has just enough space uh, for what we like to do with it. Um, it's got sleeping for two, the way the bed panels are set up here, you can see. Um, and uh, com it comes with uh, a great set of self-inflating pads. Um, and then uh, we have the Sylvan Sport Cloud System sleeping bags uh, that we purchased separately to go with it. And uh, it's, been a, it's been great. The pads and the uh, tables that go in here are in this area that they refer to as the attic. Let me show you this real quick. This unzips. This is, uh, so up underneath the hard shell uh, where the tent lives when you're not using it. 
Um, we store the pads, the inflatable pads up here above the tables. And then there are two table panels in here, uh, which we're currently not using, but you can use them together and make uh, a long section in between the two bed panels, which allows you to sleep up to four people at a time in here. Or you can use uh, one panel alone that drops down from this back wall and you could use it as a table in between the two sleeping areas. Um, it's, it's really pretty handy. And so that attic area is great for storage. We have the, um, we use the Mr. Stow-It-All, which is also a Sylvan product, which is great for storage. We put a lot of stuff in there. Um, this back area, it's, let me see behind there. Um, these bars are really handy for clipping. Like we have these small USB powered lights that we like, uh, lights, the fans that we use. Um, and then it, it makes it really nice in the evening if you've got a night where the weather's not great or whatever, it keeps it cool inside. Um, we've added these uh, storage pieces. We camped a couple of times out of uh, boxes or suitcases or whatever, and it wasn't terribly convenient. This is super good for it feeling more organized when you're trying to get through your clothes if you've got a longer trip. These were really handy, and we got these very inexpensively at Walmart. They were really a handy thing to have. Uh, on the inside, uh, these zip out open windows in the bottom are really nice for getting a lot of uh, extra ventilation, um, particularly in the evening if you've got the upper windows zipped closed. It helps prevent a lot of condensation on the inside. Um, and there are two, two of these, what they call stargazer windows uh, on each side. So they don't open, but you can get a really nice view on a, on a clear night if the, the moon is out and you can see lots of stars. One last thing I wanted to mention, um, this uh, on the base of the camper, which is this uh, really sturdy diamond plate under here, they give you this great pad, uh, nice thick pad to go on here, which goes underneath the bottom of the tent. And then there's also a, uh, this rug that goes on the inside, which actually makes it relatively comfortable to sit on. Uh, sometimes we sit down there and play cards in the evening or whatever, it's, it's super soft. Our granddaughter sleeps in there, she's nine, and she loves to sleep on the floor, it's comfortable. And a lot of people bring dogs or and that sort of thing. There's plenty of room inside for, uh, for everybody you wanna bring. So systems wise, actually this trip, uh, because we're in civilization, uh, we, we pack pretty light because our expectancy was, was that we probably would be eating out more than we would be uh, off of our own resources. But uh, we did bring the uh, Gladiator uh, Coleman stove to burner. Uh, that's been great for heating water and, and, and coffee and so on and so forth, so, so that's good. Uh, we use, uh, in fact I just got this, the small cylinder, a lot easier to deal with than the uh, big 20 pound cylinders and a lot easier to pack in the trailer. And nice and lightweight, so uh, easy to lug around, no problem at all. We got a couple of different water jugs, again, uh, because we were only doing coffee and tea in the morning, we just brought the small one, but we've also got a, a larger square uh, water carrier that we got from REI that uh, works, well, works well too. Um, for packing uh, equipment on the trailer bed, uh, we use these uh, Craftsman uh, totes from Lowe's. Uh, they seem to work quite well. Uh, only two here. We've got a third one, which is a bit larger, that we use for um, uh, moving wood around if we're camping locally or, or storing wood that we've bought at a campsite. We've got, we've got a little stool uh, because we're relatively short people, <laughs> and it's helpful when we do the uh, 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 takedown uh, to get the tent uh, into the pod uh, and get the uh, bottom of the uh, pod lifted up and clicked into place. We also carry a, uh, a, a portable chemical toilet with us. Uh, we've not used it this time because we're only 40 feet from the, from the uh, camp toilet. Uh, but it's, it's worked very well when we've used it before. Uh, it's chemical. Um, we have these gel packets that um, uh, cause the <laughs> refuse, if you will, to, uh, 
to solidify somewhat into a gel and then you can dump it in the in the normal trash. We have a uh, Privy Bivy, uh, again that's another Sylvan Sport uh, product that we would use for that, for privacy. And you could also, also use it as a uh, shower tent uh, if you wanted to. Uh, chairs, well, <laughs> luckily uh, we already had these chairs for a number of years actually before we bought the Sylvan Sport Go, but same colour, what a match. I really love this uh, Go camper. We looked at campers for a really long time yeah. and we thought for gosh a number of years, probably 10 years before we actually retired, we knew this was sort of what we wanted to do. Uh, we'd enjoyed camping earlier in our lives but we felt like we were getting too old to sleep on the floor of a tent. You know, we used to tent camp and, and get up off the yeah. floor. And um, this makes such a difference. Being up off the ground, um, this, this trip was a great example. We arrived in the pouring rain <clears throat> when we got here. And so there were plenty of people here that were in regular tents and, uh, and the ground was really a mess yeah. and, you know, muddy and whatever. And mm -hmm. being up off the ground saved us from being in three inches of water, uh, you know, on our site, which is the way it was when we got here. Yeah. So it was really good and we enjoy it being up off the ground. Um, but we did, we looked at regular campers. This, this wasn't necessarily what we thought we would get. Mm -hmm. um, and we did, we looked at pop pups yeah. and, and other styles of campers. Mm -hmm. um, and we just never felt compelled to make that, you know, to pull the trigger and, and do that. And then we saw this one, we were, you know, driving down the road and one pulls up next to you uh, at, a, at a light. And we were like, oh my gosh, what is that? Write that and, website down, <laughs> right what, now. What is it, what is it, look it up. <laughs> And, uh, and they're not kidding when they say coolest camper ever, um, Sylvan's right, it, it really is. And so we, we bought one, we bought it, we looked it up online, there were plenty of YouTube videos of people setting them up and, and taking them down and it looked easy and yeah. wait, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that was a big reason why I felt this was a good match for us. I really didn't fancy the idea of dragging a big tin box uh, around all, all over the place. Neither did I fancy the investment of a vehicle to be able to pull that, a, a larger uh, camper. Uh, I wanted to be able to use what we already had, uh, and we can easily because this, this empty is only 800 pounds. So even loaded, you're only looking at probably 11 or 1200. You can pull it with virtually anything you've already got. Uh, so that, that was a big plus for me. And then the versatility, the way that you can set it up in different ways to suit uh, different sites that you might be on. Uh, the fact that it, the whole package came with the battery and the, and the um, uh, solar panel. They're just all kinds of useful things. Just a very, very well thought out package uh, for, for folks that are, you know, coming back into it, understand it know how to use all these things but just need all the pieces to get to put together and it was a good good way to get it all in one go and hit the ground running and and having the option of being able to use it as a utility trailer separate from a camper absolutely um, because the tent pod comes off and uh, then you've only got you know these side pieces side. on here so you can use it for all sorts of uh, hauling utility type stuff and the other thing is um, a lot of people use it as a toy hauler so yeah. you can fit a quad on here yeah. um, it's made so that the trailer will will tip down yeah. in the back and you can drive a quad right onto it and it will tip itself back up again um, so that's a pretty popular thing you can take it in travel mode with its uh, hard shell top down about halfway you could put bicycles under it but still have the ability on that hard roof to put your kayak or you know, whatever other sort of toys you want to have on there and uh, and drag it all at one time. So it's it's pretty versatile in that respect. Yeah. I think we're going to be uh, dragging it all over the country before too much longer. Uh, like I said, this is our fifth trip out. It's been shakedown year, but I think next year we'll probably drag it out west and check out some BLM roads and uh, some of the areas that we've been to before, hiking and uh, try living right right off the grid for a little bit yeah
Yeah, it'll be great. And really, this was a good opportunity because the weather's not been great here this week. We had a lot of rain, a lot of heavy wind. Mm -hmm. We found that um, we were dry, dry the whole time. We've yeah. been in other tents where we didn't have that, unfortunately. Yeah. And um, this was great. You know, we waited, waited till the morning, and you're listening to see what's going to happen. Everything was still standing. Yeah. Everything was dry. We had no problem whatsoever. So right. we, we're not worried about taking it anywhere. Looking forward to it. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.